Welcome back to my Myrtle Beach real estate video blog where today I'm talking with Chris McDonald with Best Golf Carts. So don't miss it, stick around. Welcome back and I'm here with Chris now and Chris is gonna tell us, answer a lot of questions that are coming up about golf carts. Are they street legal? Is that even a real term? He's gonna answer a lot of questions about the legalities of navigating a golf cart all around the Grand Strand. Hi, my name's Chris McDonald. Um, I work at Best Golf Cars. We're a factory club car dealer. Uh, we're here at the Market Common store. Hopefully gonna enjoy a nice ride. And uh, and we've been, we've been a club car dealer for almost 30 years. I think in August will be, uh, be 30 years and we, we love what we do. This is why we talk about with people having deluxe lighting packages. Headlights, taillights, turn signals, brake lights. I would say that uh, pretty much all of the Grand Strand is like that. I mean, you can be east of 17 and uh, you can go through all those communities, hit tons of, not only the beach, but you can go and hit a lot of restaurants, shops, uh, CVS, Walmarts. I mean, you can do, there's a lot of people that use this golf cart as truly another mode of transportation for them. And then the communities that are being built today, there's a lot of access uh, within the community and then outside of the community, such as like here Market Common or even Grand Dunes and other places like that, that you can cross uh, a major road at an intersection to hit a secondary road and it can get you virtually as far as your batteries will take you. Um, but you cannot drive down the road. You can't drive down a major road, but you can drive down any road that's posted 35 miles an hour or less. Now is that is that state or is that city of Middle Beach? That's uh, that's state law. People ask, you know, uh, yeah, what what does it need to? Uh, how do I make this golf car street legal? And somehow that term caught on, so people are using it. Um, and the bottom line is in the state of South Carolina, all golf cars are street legal. Um, they don't need any requirements as far as lights or anything. They, they are all street legal. However, safety would tell you that you would want lights and that you would want turn signals and things like that because you are gonna be driving on the road with other cars, with other motorists. So that is something that you would wanna consider. So, but the other bridge to that is what you call a low speed vehicle or an LSV. It looks like a golf car, it drives like a golf car, but it's got federal standards to it that makes it go from a recreational vehicle, which a golf car is with a serial number, to an actual motor vehicle, which um, will get a VIN number. And it gets licensed, you'll have a license plate on it, and there's some other advantages to it. You can drive it day or night, and there's no distance restrictions on an LSV. But um, outside of that, that's really the, the two main differences between uh, LSV and a golf car. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video and thank you so much, Chris, for educating us. I know I learned a ton and I'm sure my viewers did too. So um, if you got any questions, uh, if this wasn't enough, just give Chris a call here at Best Golf Cars and he'll be glad to talk to you. And I look forward to talking to you next time. Thanks for watching.